Welcome. This tutorial shows the way Analyzer CAD is best used. It is a quick tutorial and shows the concept of generating cabinets. Tip: We suggest that you select 3D modeling workspace in your AutoCAD settings. This will give you access to more 3D modeling tools. Start by selecting the Cabinets tab in the ribbon. The Cabinets tab will show. Start a new drawing by selecting the template icon. A new drawing will be loaded, save it with a new name to a folder of your choice. Tip: You can customize your own template including your company logo. See Global Settings section of this help file. Start drawing a wall using 2D tools. Enter 700 into the wall length field, then press start and then the up arrow this starts a polyline in a northerly direction. Now enter 2000 into the wall length field and press the right arrow. Enter again 700 and press the down arrow. You have now created a 2000 mm long wall recess. You can now turn this polyline into a three-dimensional wall by clicking the Select Object button in the 3D wall section. Tip: Adjust wall height and thickness before selecting the object. Tip: You can create the 3D wall at a later stage if you like, it is only a graphical feature and is not needed for the creation of 3D cabinets. Go back to a plan view by clicking Reset Floor Plan Orientation. Now you are ready for inserting some cabinets. Select Base Cabinets in Object Type in the Floor Plan Object section. Then select your cabinet, Base Cab 1 Door LH. Click on Insert Object. Place the block into the LH corner. If you press the Control key during the insertion process, you can cycle through different insertion points. It works clockwise around the block. If you click the block again you can use the grips to place it at the desired position or stretch it to a specific size. Use the move grip to move the whole block to a new position. The align grip is used to position the block to wall that is in an angle or perpendicular to the x-axis. The stretch grip is very powerful and can be used to change the size of the cabinet. When you click the grip you can drag it to a desired position or enter a specific size via keyboard entry. Now, click the top LH grip and drag it to the right. Type 20 then enter, you now have moved it 20 mm from the wall. Stretch the cabinet to 500 mm by selecting the RH stretch grip and enter 500 through your keyboard. Now select 2D tools again and select your next cabinet, base unit 4 drawer. Finish it with a base unit 1 door RH and switch to the tall cabinets object types and select a tall cabinet 1 door RH and place it into the RH corner. Stretch it to the left to join the base cabinet. Now it's time to put the plinth in. Select plinth in object type and then the plinth underscore straight object. Insert it just at the back LH corner of the first cabinet. Then stretch it to the right, flush with the RH cabinet side. Now it's time to see in 3D what we have created so far. Click at the 3D tools icon. Click on the SE corner of the orientation wheel to get an isometric view. Then click on Populate All and watch the cabinets being generated. For better visuality you can change the view style from 2D wireframe to conceptual or X-ray. The only thing missing now is the bench top. Go back to a 2D floor plan by clicking at the Plan button of the 3D Tools orientation wheel and set back the view style to 2D wireframe. For better view of the 2D floor plan, click Freeze all cabs in the 3D Tools dialog box. This will hide only the 3D cabinets, your floor plan stays intact. You can make them appear again by clicking on Thor. Select a bench top with a sink in the 2D Tools dialog box. Insert the bench top into the LH back corner and stretch it all the way to the RH tall cabinet. Adjust the position of the sink so the bowl sits inside of the third cabinet. Now check out the 3D generation. Looks like we have the wrong cabinet under the sink. The top rails are interfering with the sink. We can change this easily, go into the plan view and click on delete all cabinets in 3D tools. Then delete the cabinet block under the sink. Now insert a right hand one door sink cabinet. 
and stretch it to the tall cabinet. Now click on Populate all in the 3D tools. All cabinets will be redrawn with the correct one under the sink. Now for manufacturing. Analyzer CAD has already added all the necessary info to all parts of the cabinets. Analyzer Manufacturing will create all necessary machining data so it can be exported to Analyzer Cam. If you have 3D Analyzer installed, click on the Analyzer icon, then select All Cabinets, and press Enter. The Analyzer Manufacturing Job Detail dialog will pop up. Fill in the details or leave it empty if you just want to run a test. Then click to run Geometry Script. Analyzer will show all cabinets and their parts including machining data. Clicking on Run Translator Script will create the necessary data for importing into Analyzer Cam. Layouts and Printing. You can create various layouts, showing elevations, plan views, sections. The first layout page is a viewport showing a plan of your current arrangement. If you just want to print a floor plan without all 3D cabinet lines, choose Freeze All Cabs in 3D Tools. You can get the 3D cabinets back by clicking on Thor. Page 2 to 5 can be used to create your shop drawings. Start in Page 2 and select 3D Tools then under the Layout Tools, click on Create Elevation. Select a point somewhere on Page 2 and place the Elevation Viewport. You can use the center grip to make fine adjustments or change the scale. Now click on Create section in 3D Tools. You will be asked to select the base view, in our instance the just created elevation. Click the elevation and now place the section pane arrows as shown below. Press Enter and now you will be asked to place the section to the left or right of the elevation. Now add some dimensions. Select Set Dimension Defaults in 3D Tools to start the dimensioning process. Then click on Dimension Line and select two points on the layout. Continue with more dimensions. Click on Page 6 Layout tab and you will see a 3D view of the generated cabinets. Obel click into the viewport to zoom and pan your view to suit your layout. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope it has helped you get started with Analyzer CAD.